Blount for his presentation. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, tonight is a public hearing uh, for the budget starting July 1st, 2024, ending June 30th, 2025. This is the same numbers that we've been presenting at the budget retreat and up to other budget work sessions that we've had um, since March. The first slide here shows the synopsis of the payroll, the salary, 1% payout, holiday, and the toll. The general fund, 4780 172 that's 79% of the budget. Water, 340562 5.64% of the budget. Sewer, 911656 that's 15% of the budget. For a total of salary, 1% holiday pay of 6032690 100% of the budget for payroll. The next slide is the payroll uh, fringe benefits, staff count, uh, that's the retirement, the FICA, workman's comp insurance, the tort liability, and the medical insurance. We pay 100% for all employees, full-time employees, and 40% of um, family coverage or child coverage. So in the general fund for 104 full-time employees and 11 part-time employees, we have retirement at 991 868 that's what we pay above for each employee to be here to the state retirement system. FICA to the federal government, 375, 376. Workman's comp insurance, 213, 076. Uh, tort liability insurance, 122, 647. Medical, dental, vision, life, and disability insurance for the general fund, $1,097,228 for a total of $2,800,195. The water, eight full-time employees. The retirement account, 65,933. FICA, 26,886. Workman's comp, 16,694. Tort liability, 87,86. And the insurance for full-time employees, 89,072, for a total of two million, I'm sorry, $207,000. In the sewer side, 22 full-time employees, two part-time. Uh, the retirement account, 176,365. FICA, 71918, Workman's Comp, 44655, Tort Liability, 23503, the insurance at 242151 for a total of 558892. So for 134 employees, third time, part time employees, we have a total for the retirement, FICA, Workman's Comp, Tort, and Insurance of 3,565,158. The next slide I have here shows headcount for last year versus go, I mean, this year going forward to the new year. 132 staff members, 11 part-time, 134 full-time for this current year going forward and seven part-time. And there it is broken out by each department. Now, to pay for all this on the revenue side, the next slide shows the 2022-23 revenue. The next, the, in, the middle column is the current year we're in now. The revenue 2023 for 2024, 10 million, The projected revenue for the new budget is 11 million, 800. That's to pay for the entire, um, for the budget for general fund. This right here is the slide that will show you the percent of every department we have in the general fund, a percent to the total department. If we come down, we'll see that the police department is 30.28% of the budget. They're the biggest department we have in regards to expenses of salary, branch benefits, and total expenses. And then the fire department and everybody else falls in line. This is for the general fund. The next slide will show us where the city is in debt at this moment. The first one is PNC for a fire truck to be paid out October 2026. First citizen for a garbage truck to be paid out August 2026. Enterprise, that's paid out. We now own those cars. That's three police cars. Uh, Truist, that used to be bb and uh, for 2022 capital, we'll pay that out October 2026. 
First Citizens for the Street Sweeper, it'll be paid out for 428. And then First Citizens that we that Mayor Council approved for this year will be paid out February 2023. That first citizen is three areas, general fund, water, and sewer. February 2031. Fe February 2031. Thank you, Mayor. No problem. I have a question. So, yeah, that first citizen, so you said the 237,000? Is that what we just approved? That's what you just approved. So I thought it was supposed to be, so explain that. That's the annual payment. 169,637.65 is the general fund part. 707,784 is the water part. 60,652.20 is the sewer part. And that first payment will begin next year. The next slide uh, is a capital request for going forward. The only two things that we're asking for approval uh, is a recreation uh, pickup truck and a pickup truck for the water sewer line maintenance, $110,000 and we will pay that out of the general fund and the water sewer account. We're also working on the estimates to redo the water line, sewer line, and the stormwater drains, and also repave the entire roadway for Lincoln Avenue. The next slide shows the millage. Uh, last year's millage was 205.80. This year's millage is 215.80. And this is based on the recommendation from the state of our allowable uh, increase from the prior year that we didn't utilize because we went up on the water and sewer rates. So we didn't go up on the millage rates. So we used the letter from the DOR to increase it this year because our auditors recommend that we increase it because our activity of expansion and our activity of the development in the community is so great that we needed to do that to stay up with our fund balance. So we'll be sending to the county uh, to 1580 Village Rate. The utility service, the water to sewer side, uh, the water salary fringe and expenses, uh, salary 475-500. The fringe benefits 202500 and the total expenses to operate the water department 1,694,750 for a total of 2,372,750. For the sewer side, uh, $984,300 for salary. The fringe benefits, fringe benefits 529000 The total expenses 2,657,700 to for a total operating of 4,171,000. Total for water and sewer, 6,543,751. The next slide will show the uh, percent of the salary, fringe, and the expense, and the total operating for, for the water and the sewer area based on the total. So as we can see, our biggest, our biggest part is the wastewater treatment. The next slide is the debt for the water sewer department, and these are long-term debts. We go into business with them uh, for at least 40 years because it's for the lifetime of the services, uh, and it also spreads out the ownership of who lives here and utilizes the services from year in to year out. Uh, rural development, uh, payout of January 2053. The rural development, these are water and sewer accounts. This is payout of October 2053. DB&T uh, is the expansion of the uh, automated metering program and, and uh, the consolidation of two sewer projects with the USDA. That will pay out in October of 2036. And the USDA a payout of 9-2062. Long time. So, Mayor Council, that, that is the overall view of the requested budget proposal for 2024-2025. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Just to let everyone know that this information um, presented tonight by Mr. Hall has been presented 
um, a few times already during our work sessions and workshops that we've had um, prior in the last meeting. Um, coming before council for approval on tonight for first reading. Next, we'll have during this portion for the next five minutes, um, public comment period. Comments are limited to two minutes per person and no personal or verbal attacks will be entertained. The mayor and council is interested in hearing your concerns, but speakers should not expect mayor or council action or deliberation on subject matters brought up during the public comment period. Topics requiring further investigation will be referred to the city administration and may be scheduled for a future agenda. Please make sure to sign in and leave your name and address for the record with the city clerk to council. And at this point for public comment period, it is just pertaining to the budget that, that was just presented. No comments, no questions, no concerns. I guess all is well, Mr. <laughs> Hall. We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and ask for a motion to adjourn this portion of our council meeting. So moved. Seconded. Yes, we're properly moved and second. Any questions? If all in favor, show of hands. We're adjourned. For three minutes. For three minutes. <laughs>
Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mayor Yumika Robinson, and I am calling this meeting to order. Our regular city council meeting started at 6 p.m. I pledge to build a stronger and more prosperous community by advocating for civil engagement, respecting others and their viewpoints, and finding solutions for the betterment of our city, of Lake City, South Carolina. Invocation will be led by Councilwoman Scott, and our Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Councilwoman Cooper. Can we please stand? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, dear God, for letting us be able to come back together to assemble for the city of Lake City. We pray to Heavenly Father, you'll bless each and every one that under the sound of my voice. Bless the one that may be listening online. We pray that Heavenly Father, we continue to grow, grow in grace and mercy. Bless the mayor, the council member, all the elected officials, in this world, we pray, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Scott, for the invocation. Thank you, Councilwoman Cooper, for our pledge. Madam Clerk. Can you please poll the council members? Present. Present. Council member Wilhelmina Scott. Present. Council member William Askins. Present. Council member Dewanika Cooper. Present. Council member Sandra Fleming Crosby. Council member Jason Brown. Present. Mayor Robinson, the plan to be formed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I need a motion to adopt the agenda as printed. Motion to adopt. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? If none, all in favor, show of hands, please. Thank you. I need a motion to approve the minutes. Approval of minutes from the April 9, 2024 Mayor and Council meeting, along with approval of the special call-in meeting on April 24, 2024. Motion to approve. Second. second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Next on our agenda is introductions. We have no introductions on this evening. We're going to move forward to our presentations. And we have a number of them on tonight. And I am going to ask Mayor Pro Tem Nicole Singletary to please accompany me as we do these presentations. First presentation we have on this evening is Mr. Christopher C. Weatherford. We know him as Cody. <laughs> and his certificate reads, State of South Carolina Board of Magistrate and Municipal Judge Certification. It appearing that Christopher C. Weatherford has complied with the requirements of the law of the state with respect to the training and examination of municipal judges. Therefore, this certificate is issued declaring that Christopher C. Weatherford has met training and examination requirements for qualification as a municipal judge. This, the 11th day of April 2024. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Any words? Sure. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Mayor. Um, my name is Christopher Weatherford. I'm the new ministerial recorder for the city of Lake City. Um, I am a native of the area. I was born and raised in Coward. Um, I have family ties to Lake City. I'm a graduate of Lake City High School, class of 2010. Um, I really appreciate all the support from the city. We truly are a family here. Um, and I appreciate the opportunity, and I will not let any of the citizens of this great city down. Thank you. Have a good evening. Good 
Congratulations, Cody. Next, we will have our Jake Paul Creative Arts and Science Magnet School Academy, uh, excuse me, Academic Challenge Team. Come up, please. So tonight we are, and I'm going to just go ahead and speak for all the other awards that we'll be presenting tonight or rec recognition, is for our students of Florence School District 3. Um, we, we chose a few students that have been doing a lot of great things. We have a lot of great students in Florence School District 3. We know that the district recognizes and supports and celebrates our students, but we wanted to do it on another level as far as the local government as well, to just show them that we support them, we see you, we appreciate you, and we celebrate you. So, if here, if you can actually say your name, just go ahead and pass it and say your name. My name is Chandler Brandon. Cameron Brandon. Uh, I'm Chance Carden. I'm Lila Bingo. Desiree Montgomery. And here we have Jake Paul Trula Creative Arts and Science Magnet School Academic Challenge Team. And they received a Division II runner-ups for the state of South Carolina. Let's give them a round of applause. And I do not want to leave out your coach. Was that Ms. Poston? Okay, Ms. Poston, which she cannot, she could not be in attendance tonight, and she's also the principal of this fine school. So we give her a round of applause. And I dare not lose, um, forget the parents. Parents, can you please stand? Thank you so much for being here tonight and bringing your, um, your children as well. I forgot to sign, so can you give me a minute to sign these certificates? <laughs> and the certificate reads, Certificate of recognition, the following award is given to Chance Carden. This certificate is given to Chance Carden for achieving Division II runner-ups for South Carolina on JPT Magnet School's academic challenge team, signed by yours truly, Yamika Robinson, Mayor of Lake City, South Carolina. Uh, Lala Bing. I didn't want to pronounce the last name. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Desiree Montgomery. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Cameron Brandon. Congratulations. Chandler Brandon. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And we have sister and brother here on this team. What about that? <laughs> Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Next presentation, we'll have Mr. Lorenzo, Andre, McFad, and Presley come up, please. Mr. Lorenzo, Andre, Magfad, and Presley added another chapter to his legendary athletic resume as he captured a second 
SCHSL State Championship in the 285 pound division wrestling. All right. Wow. I have seen this young man in action. <laughs> and let me tell you, he is my he is my bodyguard. You can't steal him now. He's my bodyguard. <laughs> So I am very proud of you. We wanted to bring you for tonight and just, just honor you and recognize you for this huge accomplishment and achievement. So keep doing good things. All right. <laughs> And his certificate reads, Certificate of Recognition, the following award is given to Lorenzo McFadden Presley. This certificate is given to Lorenzo Andre McFadden Presley for achieving his second CHSL state championship in the 285-pound division, signed by yours truly, Yamika Robinson, Mayor of Lake City, South Carolina. Thank you. And if his father can stand up, Coach Lowe. <laughs> and is Coach Kevin in to tonight? He couldn't make it. Can Ms. Chandler Brandon come back up, please? Ms. Chandler Brandon is the winner of 2024 SCDE and Dominion Energy Strong Men and Women in South Carolina History Student Writing Contest. Only five students were selected from across the state, and she was one. Also, Chandler is the current PIO, Public Information Office, intern for the City of Lake City. Thank you so much, Chandler, for, for your accomplishment and your achievements, and we hope that you continue to go far. And we are so happy to have you a part of the City of Lake City. Ms. Kelly Strickland. Ms. Kelly Strickland, Strickland, excuse me, was selected to the South Carolina Coaches Association of Women's Sports All-State Team. Kelly was also selected to participate in the SCC AWS Softball All-Star Game. Congratulations, Kelly. <laughs> and if I can ask Kelly's parents to stand, they're present. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> That's a true mom over there taking pictures and videoing. <laughs> and can I ask for the coaches of the softball team to stand, please? <laughs> and those fabulous supporting player teammates, can you all stand? <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming to support Kelly. Um, I appreciate you all for coming, and I recognize you all as well, the team going into the playoffs this year. Um, congratulations to you all. And I want to say one last thing to the team, or to the coach, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Our last presentation we have is Mr. Savon Whitehead. Mr. Savon? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> say, well, I got on the tie. <laughs> okay. Okay, say well, I see you. I see you. I was trying not to say anything, but everybody else is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs>
Mrs. Savon Whitehead, this certificate is awarded to Savon Whitehead Esports Performance Academy Beginner Certified Coach, has pursued studies and completed all the requirements EPA Beginner Coaching cert Certification from the Esports Performance Academy. Congratulations. Hey, <laughs> Congratulations. Any words, please? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Two seconds, I'll make it quick. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Mayor and Council, I want to say thank you because without the support of you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I'd like to thank Mr. Hall as well because being from Virginia and not having any type of college background or certifications or anything of that nature, I was given the opportunity and it means a lot that. I have something like this to show off, um, especially furthering my career with eSports. Um, it's been nice. I've been here for almost two years, and I've built a great community. The children love me. It's great to see that. Um, and working with all of you has just been tremendous. So all I ask is the continued support from you guys, and of course, the support from the city itself. I represent you guys every day. So, And little side note, uh, the high school, Lake City High, went against Ronald McNair Middle School. Uh, in the run back tournament, and Lake City High actually beat the middle schoolers uh -oh. three <laughs> to zero. Oh, so, congratulations, Lake City High. Also, thanks, Mom. I'm oh, hope oh. you're proud of me. She's watching. So, thank okay, you. thank you. <laughs> That's Mr. Savon every day, all day, except for the tie. I'm proud of you. <laughs> But thanks, everyone, for coming out for the presentations. Like I said, we stated before, we wanted to make sure that our students know that the local government here, the city of Lake City, sees you and recognizes you and supports you in anything that you may need from myself as mayor or any council members or any of the city staff and administration. Please don't ever hesitate to contact us. And that goes for everyone, parents and all. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to move forward into our <laughs> I, guess, I guess the meeting's over, Mayor. <laughs> oh, thank y'all again. Thank y'all. <laughs> they was like, uh-uh. Time, time to go. Yeah, see y'all later. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be on my big Jada, but I ain't gonna do her like that. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have our public comment period. Comments are limited to two minutes per person, and no personal or verbal attacks will be entertained. The council is interested in hearing your concerns, but speakers should not expect council action or deliberation on subject matters brought up during the public comment period. Topics requiring further investigation will be referred to the city administration and may be scheduled for a future agenda. Brandon Lamar, Bernard Hooker, I'm a citizen of Lake City, Mayor and Council. Uh, approximately 11 years ago, me and a gathering of ministers and what we called at the time the Lake City Ministerial Roundtable gathered, and we met on about nine occasions, specifically outlining our concerns for the community, our concerns for the activity center, our concerns for some place before we had so many lovely and wonderful facilities to meet and gather in, some place where the community could gather, come together, and work together. Um, and also some place where we could meet as... <laughs> where we could meet as a gathering and share. My concern tonight is that the city remembers those conversations. I know most of you all are new since then. But that you remember those conversations, remember the need 
of the young men and women to have a gathering place for young people that they can afford, find accessible, and also do those things that young people need to do in a safe and loving environment. The churches in Lake City support that energy and effort and hope that the city continues to move in that direction. Thank you. Thank you. Robinson and everyone in your respective place. My name is Laura Davis. I'm up here concerned about Moe Street. I've been living on Moe Street 40 some years. And even starting at Savory, we have a lot of potholes. So I am concerned about Moe Street. <laughs> Consider that as being paid. Thank you. Are there any more public comment period comments? If none, thank you all for who came forth tonight. We're going to move forward to our legislative part of the meeting. Mr. Hall, City Administrator. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, uh, ordinance number 20, 25.005 for a first reading. An ordinance for the city of Lake City, South Carolina to levy taxes and establish a municipal budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending June 30, 2025 and all matters related thereto. This is the first reading of the proposed <coughs> budget. Second reading will be June 11th. This budget has also been posted in the morning news <coughs> Saturday, April 13th as required by law. Need a motion to approve ordinance 2025.005 for first reading. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, council? On the levy of taxes, uh, could you explain that to me a little bit more? The levy of taxes, it yeah. basically goes back to the um, military. It's, a, it's the military. It is actually the military that we will send to the county that will be charged against proper personal property, meaning cars, boats motorcycles, and homes. Yeah, because I see that was 153 or something. I seen that then. 215.8, if I'm not mistaken, from the preliminary uh, public hearing we had. How much will that go up? 30 uh, One mil equals 129.74, and I think it was almost an estimate of 38 dollars on a $70,000 home. Any other questions, Council? If none, all in favor, show of hands. All opposed? Motion passes. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 2024.021, final reading. A resolution seeking <coughs> approval of the bid committee to accept the bids from Digging Deep Construction LLC in the amount of $149,400. The bid is to repair Charles Street for the storm drain. I will say that this part of this has already taken place because Charles Street has now started to collapse. Uh, the state furnished us with the pipe. It is now sitting on Charles Street, and they are in the process of installing that pipe uh, to keep that a safe road to travel. Need a motion to approve resolution 2024.021 for final reading. Motion to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? I got one question. Is that the stormwater? That is stormwater, yes, sir. That's my only question. Any other questions, Council? Right. All in favor, show of hands. Thank you. Motion passes. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 2024.022, final reading. A resolution from the City of Lake City to reappoint the following 
to the Architectural Review Board, ARB, for two years. Carl Trollinger, two consecutive terms, expiring June 13, 2026. Need a motion to approve resolution 2024.022 for final reading. Move to approve. Second. Has been properly moved and second. Any questions? He submitted a, a letter or anything? He has uh, submitted his uh, acknowledgement that he wanted to be reappointed. And by law, he can be re reappointed three consecutive terms. I remember in the past, we was getting letters correct. When people was when they turn was up, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. So, so he just did see one. Or? He did. He did. He did. He's he asking did. to be reappointed. Okay. Yes. I just did see it on here. Um, let's see. We well, usually see it. Okay. Yes, it's not on here, but. Okay. Any other questions, Council, on this resolution? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Thank you. Resolution passes. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, resolution number 2024.023, a resolution to accept grant funds from the South Carolina State Treasurer's Office in the amount of $13,280 for the Lake City Fire Department and all matters related thereto. Need a motion to approve resolution 2024.023 for final reading. Move to approve. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions, Council? No questions? If none, all in favor, show of hands. Resolution passes. Mayor Council, that's all we have on the resolutions and ordinance. Uh, Mayor, uh, for your consideration, uh, I'm going to present the financial report for the month ending April 30, 2024. In the general fund, we have revenues of $7,186,000 at 70% of the budget. We have expenditures of $7,000,003. Uh, we've overspent $115,344. Uh, taxes are received in the rears. So we are now at 71% of expenditures. On the water side, we have um, revenue of 1.5, 67% of the budget, and we have expenses of 1 million five. We have 67,000 overspent. Uh, we have had to replace a lot of the valves, old valves in the, in the streets, uh, so that will encompass some of the old work that we've been having to repair. Same thing with the sewer, sewer lines that are collapsing. Uh, we're having to fix those. So we have revenues of two million five six, expenditures of two million seven five, uh, over the uh, revenue of one hundred eighty nine thousand. On the stormwater, we collected uh, year to date one seventy six five sixty four. We had expenditures of forty one six sixty seven. We have a surplus of one thirty four eight ninety seven. On the water reserves, uh, we have a year to date of six thousand four fifty. On the sewer side, 60,112. Mayor and Council, for your consideration, I present to you the bills for May 14th for your consideration and approval. Items number one through six. I'm sorry, one through eight. Need a motion to approve bills, items one through eight for May 14th, 2024. Can I get a motion? A motion. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Any questions? Can I, get a, can I get a copy of all of both of them? The sewer and the bill? Once, because it wasn't in here. The copy of the bills, hard copy. Oh, you want a hard copy? Yeah. Do you, you need it for yeah, now? No, you just later. Just later. Just later. Just later. Well, but you see it now. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Any other questions about was what we see tonight here? No, just a what list. What we got tonight. 
But what's been played? What's been played up here tonight? That's what I want a copy of. It. Just the list. Yeah. Yeah. Was in the yeah. Give a look cool. Any other questions, Council? Cooper. If there's no questions, all in favor, show of hands. Any opposed? Uh, Mayor and Council, if it would please, I'm going to allow uh, Chief Patrick Miles to give our police report for this month. Chief Miles. Well, Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Um, quickly going over the stats for April. Total calls for service for the Lake City Police Department is 1,215 calls for service. And uh, I'll hit some of the high points on these. Uh, out of that 1,215, that's 329 traffic stops and 277 property checks. That accounts for the majority of the calls for service. Um, and digging a little further into it, the uh, total number of citations issued from those 329 traffic stops is 157 traffic tickets were issued. I think that shows that the officers are, they're working with the public on the side of the road. They're not, not just writing tickets for every, every little thing they can. Uh, we get 329 cars pulled on the shoulder of the road. You only issue 157 tickets. I think that, that makes that statement loud and clear. Um, there were 198 incident reports completed out of that 1,215 calls for service, um, 35 arrests out of that same number, and there were also 79 arrest warrants issued and 70 arrest warrants served, and all that's in encompassing that, that 1,215 number. Um, outside of that, it, it breaks down a little further in the calls, and I can provide each of you with a copy of this if you'd like. It's probably not in the packet. Um, it breaks down to burglar alarms and 60 domestic calls. We had 26 calls for domestic violence. Uh, 54 follow-up calls from an earlier call where the officer goes back out to follow up in the case. Um, 19 suspicious, pers suspicious persons, 33 motor vehicle accidents, 31 disorderly conducts, uh, 20 suspicious vehicles, 10 vandalisms, 21 harassment and threatening cases. Um, 10 assault and battery cases, and that also encompasses assault and battery, all degrees of it. Uh, 15 larcenies, there were nine shooting incidents reported. Now, of that nine shooting incidents that were reported, that's just shots fired. That doesn't mean anybody was shot or anybody's property was shot up or anything like that. That essentially means somebody heard what they thought was a gunshot and dialed 911. That's what that number means. Uh, nine times out of 10, it's not a gunshot or it's just a loud noise that they heard. We actually had no shootings that, that were reported with, with damage or, or victims or anything like that for the month of April. Uh, four burglaries and 16 trespassing. Uh, breaking down the uh, motor vehicle violations that were listed a little further, there was 20 of those were vehicle violations. Uh, eight of those were, were simple possession of marijuana that was written on traffic tickets. 35 speeding tickets were issued. Six operating uninsured. 13 driver's license violations, 15 driving under suspensions, and three DUIs. I think that, that wraps up the, uh, the month of April for the statistics for the police department. We do also have three new hires that I'm sure we'll eventually, as they progress through the training, we'll get in front of the council members and the mayor for all you guys to see them. And the uh, opportunity is still, still there for each and every one of you to, to do ride alongs if you want to. We'd like to see you ride along with the police officers and get to know them a little better. Kind of walk them out on their shoes, see what they go through. I can answer a lot of questions for you. Um, and if there are any other meetings, uh, like the one meeting that Councilmember Scott had, um, we're open to attend those as well. So if anybody wants to plan those for your district, we're here to help you with planning it. We'll be present and answer any questions. That's all I have. Thank you, Chief Miles. Thank you for that report, Mr. Hall. Council, that's all we have for you this evening. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
Thank you. Next we have City Council Member Report and Mayor Report. Okay, I'm going to ask to start with Council Askins. <laughs> I just want to say I hope everybody enjoyed art fields. Good time. Saw several people, several of y'all out there. Um, had good weather. Hope nothing big happened from the police side, but overall I thought it went pretty well. And that's all. Thank you. Okay. I would like to say congratulations to the school and all the students that um, was given a reward tonight. It showed the growth uh, in education. Uh, and we I'm proud of all of them. Coach everybody that stick together, parents. Um, it took the whole village to make uh, this city a good city. And um, the potholes, um, Mr. Britton told me that he spoke, I think, with Ricky, and they're trying to fill some of them up. Because getting the whole street paid that come through the state and talk about a lot of money. So you know the bad hole that need to be repaired. Let me know or let the mayor or somebody know and we'll try to maybe patch those up. That's what I was given that information from Mr. Britton. He told me he spoke with, uh, I think, with Ricky, and they were doing some of the pothole. There was a few that were full on uh, Cedar Street and uh, Deep, Deep River, I think, or somewhere. But anyhow, thank you for that. Um, let me see. That's it. And, you know, I'm glad to see the city moving along. And, Knowing that oh, we didn't have no bad violence doing uh, art field, I, I, I just get good reports about people talking about good things about Lake City, and it surely made me feel good to be a part of it. So let's continue to love one another. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Also, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, also, with art fields, um, I heard good things. I was there. Hope you guys attended as well. Um, to the kids who got the awards tonight, congratulations. Keep up the good work. And see you all next month. Um, good evening. Um, thank you, for everyone, for coming out. Um, just wanted to keep in mind that this month is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, so that kind of goes back along to with thinking about um, the police report. Um, just try to stay vigilant um, and, of course, continue to stay safe with that because um, mental health affects everyone in different ways and some things can be very extreme and some things can be minor. So um, with that, I'll, I'll say that happy belated Mother's Day again to everyone um, that are mothers or that um, play a role as a mother. Congrats to the, um, the students who received the awards tonight from the city. Um, keep up the good work. And um, let's see, we have Juneteenth coming up, so that's a good thing. So please be um, mindful of the events that are going to be going on in the area. And again, um, uh, stay vigilant um, and stay safe. And that's it. That's all I have tonight. Good to see everyone here tonight. Um, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I know y'all had a good Sunday dinner on Sunday. I wish I could attend, but furthermore, uh, glad to see everyone here. Come out, voice your opinion, let us know what's going on in, in our districts, uh, keeping us aware of what's going on. I ride through my district, and you see things that's being done, like I see over there on Charles Street. I see where they doing the, the drainage over there. That's good, because we need to keep the water stuff moving through the city. Um, other than that, I think we're moving in the right direction, and let's just keep it going. Thank you, Councilman, for your reports. Thank everyone who is here present and in person and viewing on Facebook. I appreciate everyone. Um, please continue to encourage everyone to either come in or view Facebook for our council meetings, our monthly council meetings. Um, we are very busy in this month, the city and the school district. Uh, this is a very busy month. We have a lot of things going on. I want to back up and say, yes, Art Fields was a, a very great um, 12th year 
for art fields. I think it's growing and growing and growing every year. Um, we did not have any um, terrible incidents or accidents. Um, I like to say that it was good to see our police officers on bike patrol out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you either, if you didn't see it, you heard about it. So um, congrats on them for the bike patrol. Um, and thanks for keeping our city safe as the uh, festiv festivities went on. Um, we have different graduations. Summer, summer is coming up, so be aware, um, be very cautious, be very watchful. Um, the summertime is coming. We have different events. We have different constructions that are going on in the area. You might see detour here, detour there. Um, there are plenty of things that are going on for the benefit that's going to benefit the city, the citizens of Lake City. Um, we have ro different road closures due to that. Plus to, um, I think starting tonight, matter of fact, they're only going to be doing work at night off of Main Street for the resurfacing of that area off of Main Street, um, Church Street, and I think some of Loop to Loop Road as well. Um, also, just kind of piggyback off of what Councilwoman Cooper stated, May is Mental Health Awareness. Um, we need to try to bring awareness to mental health um, try to educate ourselves, educate others, um, be a listening ear to others, encourage kind words, because um, mental, mental health is real. Mental illness is real. So if you need any help or concern about someone that's need help, uh, we have PD Mental Health. You can come here and talk to um, um, Ms. Harriet Rose and Ms. Asia here at PD Coalition that can help as well. Um, also, I would like to state that um, city issues, just basically stating respectfully, city issues is for City Hall. And I say that due to the fact that I've had people to come to my residence about city issues. I am the mayor. I am concerned. I was elected to be concerned, but I also have a life of my own as well. And I ask you respectfully for elected officials, myself and council members, to please keep city issues, bring them to City Hall. You can contact us here at any time during the time of eight to five, even after us, we have cell phones that you can contact us. But how the world is today, I choose not for anyone to come to my home with their city issues, respectfully. Um, last but not least, um, I would like to thank the city staff, the city administration and city councils council members for all that you do on a daily basis to keep in the city of Lake City moving forward. As you can see, we have businesses coming in. Dunkin' Donuts is up and running. We have other businesses that is looking at the city of Lake City. We are growing. We have conversations going on now. You may not see them, see the things that we're talking about now, but hopefully in the near future, you will start to see how well Lake City is growing. When I go out of Lake City and go to different conferences, People tell, as soon as I say I'm the, I'm the mayor of Lake City, they say, wow, we see how Lake City is growing. Your city is doing a great job. It's not about what I'm doing. It's not about what we're doing. It's about what the entire town in Florence County is doing. So be happy about that, that we are being talked about in a very good way, and we want to keep that going and keep that rolling. So our city is a small city, but we are doing big things. Uh, we are moving forward, and we have a lot of great things for, for everyone, for our, for our senior citizens, for our young people. Uh, we have the community center that will be opening up very soon. Um, I'm very excited about that. We have our housing that's, that's happening as well. Uh, we have apartments with partnership. We have apartments coming. So we have a lot of great things coming to the city of Lake City. Be proud to be a Lake Cityan. So thank you again for everybody coming out tonight. I appreciate you. I love you. And hope to see you the next time at City Council meeting. I have one more uh, statement to make. Someone asked the question, how can we open up so many bait and not a grocery store? <laughs> so we hope that someone would consider that coming here to bring a, uh, another grocery store. It's said, how can we all open up? We've got about five. So, uh, you know, things to improve our health, not to uh, worsen our health. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you again, council members. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Seconded. Thank you.
Thank you very much.